Hi guys, welcome to Real Time Automation. In this video, we will see about explicit wait. Explicit wait is used to tell a web driver to wait for a certain condition or the maximum time exceeded before throwing an element not visible exception. You will be getting a question if everything works fine with the implicit wait, why we are coming to the explicit wait? Let's see an example. Test case that you are dealing with has a 10 web elements. Out of 10 web elements, 9 web elements are taking within 2 seconds to load and 1 web element is taking more than 5 seconds. If you are going with the implicit weight, you should set the time more than 6 seconds. We know that one of the web elements will be failed within 2 seconds. As we set the implicit weight for more than 6 seconds, still it is going to wait for that particular amount of time. So that is the reason we are going to the explicit weight. We will identify the web elements which is taking more time and we will put some conditions for them with respect to the explicit weight. Let's get started. Right click on a project, new, then click on python. We will give the file name as explicitweight.py file. Let's take the same code that we used for the implicit weight and we'll copy in the explicit weight file. Now we will remove the driver.implicitweight. Now let's run the explicit.py file. After entering the text in the two input fields, the next button should be enabled and then it should be clicked. The next button is not clicked here. We will import by from Selenium WebDriver common. We will import, we will import expected conditions from Selenium WebDriver support. We will import WebDriver wait from Selenium WebDriver support dot wait. Import by showing some error. Uh, from statement is not correct. I think it should be like Selenium WebDriver common dot by. We'll set the weight equal to WebDriver weight, and we'll pass the driver and the timeout as a parameter. For the timeout, we'll take it as 10 seconds. Element equals to wait dot until with respect to EC, that is expected condition. We will call element to be clickable method. In element to be clickable method, we'll pass by dot x path and the x path of that element has parameters. Now we'll run explicit wait.py file. After entering the text in two input boxes, the next button should be enabled and then it should be clicked. So now it has clicked the next button and we can we are able to see what skills are required field now.